who are all you people? And what are you doing at my channel? I know I was saying what a lot of people had been thinking, and apparently for quite some time, oh, I've gotten an earful from so many people in the private messaging and all of that. And apparently some people have been thinking this for about the last two years, especially people who have encountered Princess in the real life made of meat space. Hi, Cat. Murnau, seriously, it is not your show. It is my show. Look, you don't pay the rent here. Thank you. <laughs> Kitty. Ah. Uh. So I know, I know, and I knew when I said it that it would get a lot of attention for no real reason other than I'm a loudmouth with internet access, and I have been since Live Journal, which is really showing my age, because I think there's all five of you who know what I'm talking about who weren't even there at the time. And probably a bunch who were there at the time, but seriously, it's like, ah, uh, I'm just a loudmouth with internet access, and I didn't take off my eyebrows and eyeliner before I went to bed last night, and I didn't even take off my bandana, and here comes the other cat, one of the other cats. Hi, Nigel, I'm not masturbating, please Thank yeah, now you're not interested. I'm not touching myself, so you're not interested in watching. You know, he took one of those things that cats do, and it's already creepy, and he made it creepier. Like, seriously, he made it creepier. Let me, let me explain how he made it creepier. So you know how a really contented cat will do that kneading, 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 and... Yeah, the the whole, like, uh, mixing biscuits or muffins or whatever people are calling it. Um, uh, a lot of, uh, animal behaviorists think that, you know, it's just, like, kind of a, kind of a kitten, um, time, like, self-soothing kind of thing, to, you know, because kittens will do that to, uh, stimulate the milk on, uh, on, uh, their mother. And so, um, hi, uh, here's another cat coming back. Hi. No, no, no. It is not your show. I'm talking about Nigel. <laughs> and, uh, so, uh, so he'll do that while staring very intently and kneading on it's always this blanket, too. And my guess is because it's the, it's the velvet chenille and, you know, so it's, it's his creepy blanket. And I barely use this blanket anymore because he's just made it too creepy. <laughs> And, yeah, it, and it's like he'll stare, like, very intently, purring very loudly, kneading on the creepy blanket while he's watching me touch myself, and I'm like, somehow he took a creepy thing that cats do, and he made it creepier, and, um, and I really, I don't know, just the whole thing that, uh, that, uh, and like, I like I said, I I knew when I made the video that it was going to get attention, and I knew I at least had something of an inkling just from uh, Reddit comments and all that from all sorts of people that I was saying what a lot of people were thinking. It's just like I kind of was thinking, you know, I could be a little bit more charitable. Speaking of Reddit comments, until that fucking video that Princess made, right? And that's just kind of when it suddenly all clicked, and I totally saw what everybody was thinking. And I was admitting some things that I'd been thinking for some time, and I, I was just like, I I'd had my fill. And I knew when I made it that... <laughs> It was going to get us some attention, and, you know, positive and negative, and I, I don't know, I, I was, I'm still just kind of floored, uh, and I would like to be, you know, extend some gratitude toward all the positive attention that got, 
I thank you so much, and, like, I, I read the comments, um, I, I'm pretty sure I've read almost all of them. I read everything that, uh, comes up in a notification on the, um, on the, uh, YT Studio app, <clears throat> and, uh, so if it comes up in that little, um, upper right-hand corner little thing, um, and I see it, you know, if it comes up in there, I will see it, and, um, I will read it, I will, at the very least, give it a like and a little heart, uh, as, you know, a, uh, as a signal to you that I have read it, and, um, um, I, uh, at some point, I've started only really commenting when I have something to add, or, you know, something especially to say in response, um, as a, <sighs> hi, cat, but now, he's, uh, he's so silly, he is, and he sleeps like this all the time, like with his little paws up and, uh, but, uh, but yeah, like I said, I knew, I knew I was going to be saying what a lot of people were thinking, and I knew it was going to get attention, and, I don't know, there's that part of your brain where you've been, you know, engaging in self-deprecating humor for so long that it, you don't always, I don't know, it kind of keeps you humble in a way, because you don't always grasp, um, why people would want to appreciate something you said. Uh, so, <laughs> you know, and it just, I don't know, I, I've been, you know, some of the comments that people have left, it's given me some warm fuzzies, and just, <clears throat> oh, especially the earful I've been hearing from a lot of people in private, um, where apparently I was just, like, right on the nose about so many things, uh, but, you know, I'm only gonna give Princess and her stage monster the, you know, like, I'm not even referring to them by name anymore at this point, because I, I don't care. I really don't, I really don't. It's just like, it was something I said when I was already in a bad mood, and <laughs> it still seemed like a good idea to post it anyway after I got, you know, after I got done editing and everything, so I just went ahead and... <laughs> Uh, and, uh, you know, as, as I do say, you know, quality over quantity, so, you know, while I would rather have an audience who, you know, totally, you know, gets what I'm trying to say and all that, um, you know, and not so much focus on the size of it, uh, still, you know, the size, that's, that's, kind of a, that's, that's kind of a big deal. I gained, like, nearly a hundred subscribers in the span of what amounts to an extended weekend as far as period of time goes, though I know this was, like, the, you know, middle of the week when I posted it. <clears throat> right, kitty? He's still there. He just pulled his tail out of my face. Hi, what are you doing? Are you being silly? Are you a silly little boy? Yes. Ah, oh, God. He's so goofy. And that is Nigel's favorite box, and it is an antique box that is indeed as old as it looks that came with one of my waffle irons unexpectedly. Ah, oh, I need to I need to finish cleaning up in the kitchen so I can do that video on my antique appliances. Ah, oh, I love my antique appliances. Um <laughs> But again, thanks so much to all of the all of the new subscribers, especially, you know, if you're here for the right reasons, I would hope. Uh if you're here for the wrong reasons, I don't know, stick around, bring my hit counter up and all of that shit. Uh <laughs> Oh, some of the videos that the YT Studio thing will tell me um brought people into you know, some of my videos, it, it's just, like, I'm flattered that YouTube's algorithms are giving me some of the recommendations, or, you know, recommending, um, me to 
you know, from some of the videos that they have, like, I've gotten, uh, hits from, uh, being recommended by, uh, um, you know, algorithmically, um, through, uh, um, uh, Dorian of Herbs and Altars, uh, some of their videos, and, uh, uh, let's see, I got a hit from Fright Summers, you know, algorithmically, and, uh, and, you know, um, yeah, I did, I did kind of leave her out of my Elder Guffs, because I'm not quite sure how old she is. Uh, I'm pretty sure she's younger than me. I want to say early 30s, maybe late 20s. Um, but yeah, uh, and, uh, oh, uh, I think I got a hit from an Amy Necrotique video. Oh my gosh, I did kind of want to include her. Uh, she's, she's in my Elder Goth recommendations. Uh, she's, she's more rivet head though, so... Uh, but she's got a lot of wonderful, um, advice for people going to clubs and everything. <clears throat> um, I guess I could reshoot it later. I don't know. I'm tired. Oh, I'm still in bed because, oh shit, it's two by my watch. It's like almost two on the dot by my watch. I set my watch a little fast because I don't like to be late for things. All of my analog clocks are set a little fast, and they're all set at different amounts of time fast. So, uh, that's a thing that I do to keep me on the ball. Um, but yeah, I'm still in bed at this point because my back only just now decided that... Oh, God. Actually, I, I kind of woke up to pee several hours ago, and I responded to a couple of comments, and Cat is playing with the power cord, and so, uh, so yeah, I woke up a few hours ago, responded to some comments, went right back to bed, and this hand is asleep, and my back is not sure I want to take in the recycling today. I can only do it on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, and I am not sure this is a Saturday I want to be doing that. Maybe Tuesday. Maybe I can do it Tuesday. I don't know. It's kind of a task to get anything done on a Tuesday. <sighs> oh well. Um, hmm. Well, if it still, still seems like a good idea to post this, uh, when I'm done running my beautiful, uh, blue filters on it, I will. And I, I don't know, I really love that color filter. I think it's gonna be my thing. Uh, da, 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 da. now what? Uh, oh, Kitty's back. Is it time to feed you? Am I so late for breakfast? I am very late for breakfast. Usually they get breakfast around noon when I... Usually prefer to get up, right? I know. I know. How dare I be pained and tired and two hours late for breakfast. That is the most important part. Is kitty breakfast. Gotta feed the beasts. Gotta feed the beasts. Yes. Yes. Cat butt. Cat butt. Oh, speaking of feeding. Oh my gosh. I have, I have lost... Uh, about 20 pounds since my kidney stone back in December, but, uh, let's see, since I've been keeping, uh, track of my own caloric intake and all of that, I have dropped a little over a stone since the 8th of January. <gasps> Yay! So, 15 pounds and some change, and, okay, I gotta go breakfast the kitties, I'm about feeling like I could get up if I wanted to, and the thing about getting up if I wanted to is I will be that much closer to my pain medications. <gasps> Yay! And then I might indeed be able to go to the recycling. Oh, God. I gotta see my dermatologist again. I I think I've confirmed this is not indeed... This isn't... This is not skin irritated from... Um, from, uh, from facial cleaners, cleansers, uh, but it is 
probably psoriasis. And uh, it's on my eyelids. And I need to call my dermatologist uh, for the first time in years because this is, this is nuts. It is on my face where there is no facial hair. Uh, that's, that's probably my biggest reason for keeping clean shaven is, uh, if, if I, the last couple times I've tried to keeping, um, sideburns or even like full mutton chops, I will get big patches underneath the facial hair. So, um, hi. And I had a giant blackhead on this side for a while under some sideburns, and I really need to feed the cats, apparently. Hi. Yes. I see you. Yes, it's it's literally in my face. Like, even if I were totally blind, I would feel this. Honey. Yes. Okay. I can feed you. Is that what you want? You want breakfast? You just want breakfast? Just we want breakfast. Breakfast for kitty. Breakfast for kitty. Do so we want it? Yes, we do. Okay, I'm gonna feed the cats and um bats and kisses and I love you all so much and please take care of yourselves and goodbye. Okay.